Hi, my name is Jacob Bustillo, and this video is for the Rexburg Family History Center patrons as a visual guide in how to convert your media to digital format. Today we're going to talk about the VHS tape player. Now the VHS tape player has a few things that are a little bit different because if you have an old video from an old video camera, you're going to need the videotape to convert it. So, on the side right here, you have the button that you can press, and then you slip your cassette in there, and then this will allow you to put the whole tape inside the player. Now the player is connected. When you start it, you wanna make sure that you have power on there. If it's not available, if it's not plugged in, check your power cord. We also have, right here on this side, we have an audio video cable, the red, white, and yellow. They are connected onto the back right here. So make sure these are snug. If these aren't snug, there will come a problem with the, with the conversion. So just nobody was gonna usually touch the, touch the devices. It's usually already set up to go, but in case they need to, check your cables. Feel, feel free to do so. This, uh, these adapters, these cables will actually connect to the Roxio VHS player connectors. And this actually plugs into the USB adapter that goes into the computer. This actually comes with the software that is going to be used for the VHS tape conversion. So it's already connected on there. Again, check it as needed. So once you come over here and you have your tape ready, I would recommend fast forward and rewinding just in case if it has been some time since it's been played, you may want to just make sure to get it prepped up a little bit. And uh, once you get that done, once it's rewinded, all you need to do is have your tape in there and prepare the software program and get that ready to go. Once, I would recommend getting the software program ready to go first, and there's a video for that to how to set that up. And once you have that taken care of, start the recording on the program, and then push your tape in. It'll take some time to register, and then it'll automatically display itself onto the screen. Now, if you need to pause or stop for whatever reason, I would recommend pausing it on the, on the player first, and then doing so on the software. If you have any issues with any of the physical setup, there's a booklet right here that tells you how to use the physical, how to have, how to get all that set up, and it also has in there as well how to use the software programming. 